Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and a few months ago, D Marvel released a video which was partially a quiz, and also partially him trying to say, I understand physics. Now this quiz was so incredibly basic, that not only could a five-year-old pass the quiz, a five-year-old could make a more difficult quiz than D Marvel did. Also, it wasn't really a physics quiz, because asking someone, what is this? It's a pop filter, by the way isn't really a physics question. But maybe D Marvel and other Flat Earthers might be able to get some physics questions right. So welcome to the Flat Earth Physics Quiz! Now, physics will be the main focus of this quiz, but I'll have a few other areas which I may delve into, like chemistry. Probably not biology though. But I do understand that if I'm doing chemistry, people might want me to have a biology question, so bonus biology question right at the start doesn't give you any points. When a mummy and a daddy love each other very much, what happens? Uh, the mummy divorces the daddy and takes custody of the kids. I know my biology. Karen, you're an anti-vaxxer. If there's one subject that anti-vaxxers know nothing about, it's biology. Anyway, I'm going to start off with some really easy questions. If you cannot get the first questions right, then you have no business debunking the globe whatsoever because you don't understand the first thing about it. All right, question one, complete this equation. F equals what? See, I said that the first few questions would be easy. Well, at least for globe earthers anyway. And for you flat earthers who are actually struggling with that and wondering what kind of options there are for answers, this ain't multi-choice, deal with it. Question number two. For each of the letters in the equation in question number one, what do they mean? So yes, you do actually have to understand what your answers mean. Question number three. Force per unit area is a measurement of what? Question number four. A train is moving at 150 kilometers per hour. And yes, we're using the metric system here, so deal with it. Someone walks along the train at four kilometers per hour from the back to the front. To an observer on the train, how fast is that person moving? Question number five. Train A is going from east to west at a speed of 150 kilometers per hour. Train B is going from west to east at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. To an observer on train A, how fast is train B going? Question number six. If I have a sealed container with air inside it and I heat up the air inside that container, will the pressure increase? decrease or stay the same. Question number seven. In regards to question number six, why is that the case? Question number eight. If I have two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen, how much mass do I have? Question number nine. If an object is at rest here on earth on the ground, is it still experiencing a downwards force? Question number 10. I should have asked this one earlier, but it's pretty important. What is density? Question number 11. And I don't have enough fingers. What is the best way to describe the shape of a liquid at any given time? Question number 12. What conditions will cause light to bend? Question number 13. What phenomenon is responsible for the sky appearing blue during the day and the sun appearing redder during sunset. Question number 14. What is terminal velocity? And question number 15. If I'm in space, and I've got nothing around me, and I throw this hammer away from me, will I experience a force from that action? And here's a bonus question, as it's not really a science question, but it's more of a philosophy question. Is language descriptive or prescriptive? So, 15 questions and a bonus question. Let's see how many flat earthers can get right. The more of them you get right, the better you would actually be able to make a case against the globe, as you would actually understand it better. But don't think that just because you're a flat earther and you got every single one of these questions right, don't think that that means that the earth is flat. But I do hope that flat earthers take time to answer these questions, because the ones that get the most amount of questions right are the ones most worth talking to. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons, Fight the Flat Earth, Stan Trucker, What Jesus, Robert Legier 3, and Wolfie. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon, link will be in the description, 
and you get some rewards. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.